So in 2013, I was working out on my own and I was trying to get into a good schedule routine um, and I wanted to transition from graphic designer to kind of designer and illustrator. So I just decided to give myself a little project and um, the Pope had retired. So I just decided to illustrate that headline that the Pope was retiring with a Pope hat on a little hat rack. And I put it on the internet and just called it Wordless News. and. Uh, a lot of people said, oh, you know, you should do it again tomorrow. And so I've just been doing it five days a week ever since. It was kind of an accident, and now it's turned into a passion project that has really changed the trajectory of my career. Probably about six months after I started, I got a call from NPR and they wanted to do a week-long collaboration with Morning Edition. And so they sent me the stories of the day and I picked one and illustrated the headline and then they posted them on their site. And I think the day that that started, my email list from, went from like 75 people to like 5,000. <laughs> and so um, I felt a sense of obligation after that and it felt really important for me to do it every day. I have a new baby, so my schedule has changed a tiny bit, but um, I still get up pretty early. I read the news. I try to use um, reliable news sources that aren't too far left or too far right. So I just read the stories, read the headline, um, do maybe five to 10 sketches, and then create the illustration. I think that a lot of the really hard topics, I've been able to do something meaningful and I will get feedback from people a lot of times and I've only gotten one negative email in almost four years. So I think the response that I get from followers really keeps me going and it also, the negativity gives me a chance to make something positive. It was very early on, like maybe the second month I did Wordless News. Um, I did a story about two guys in Michigan who were part of a Native American um, tribe, and they were the first couple to, gay couple to get married in Michigan. And it was an interesting story, and I was in a hurry that day, and I thought, well, I can draw a cake with two bucks on it, and it will read quickly and somehow they found it. This was before it was on Morning Edition. I mean, I had no followers, but they found the image and they wrote me this amazing email. And then when they had their actual wedding ceremony, like six months later, they had their cake made to look just like my illustration. I don't know, that was just so rewarding that a stranger found it and then actually like used it and it's part of their life. I mean, it's, it's you know, it's in all of their wedding photos and it was a really beautiful looking cake. It's, it's amazing. I feel really honored to be able to share it and to see it in a different space and see it printed and, you know, look at all oh, the color. Okay, it works or it doesn't work or, um, I don't know. It's interesting to see it as a physical piece instead of something digital. Mm -hmm.